seven hour testing experience means that your practice for a seven, your realistic simulation of that practice test will require you to do seven hours of testing or at least six yep. hours of testing yep. every time you take a full length exam in preparation for the, the new MCAT. Um, so again, for those students who are in a position where you could choose to take the test before it changes, there's a, a, a opportunity cost that you lose in your preparation time. We, mm -hmm. we know that students on average study about 300 hours in preparation for the MCAT. A bigger chunk of that 300 hours will go towards every full-length testing experience as you prepare for the new exam, not to mention three additional content areas that Amit mentioned earlier mm -hmm. that then require you to take some of your study time away from the core four science areas to, uh, to invest towards those new content areas. So, um, you know, if you're in a position where you are through those prerequisites and uh, are applying within the next two years or so, this is definitely an opportunity to, uh, to put your limited study time mm -hmm. more efficiently towards fewer content areas and a shorter length test mm -hmm. uh, than you will have to prepare for the new exam. Now, the flip side of that coin, though, to be fair, is that students also have to be able to uh, to fit that study into this condensed time frame, right? The last administration of the current version of the MCAT is going to be in January. Uh, depending on what a student's course load is this fall, there's some consideration there, right? It's a great point. Uh, again, you know, we mentioned the prerequisites, but one of the prerequisites to being well prepared for the exam this fall is not only having done most of that coursework, but having the time to prepare for the MCAT before those final test dates in January. Mm -hmm. So uh, students who have a very uh, uh, heavy course load this fall or haven't planned ahead to be prepared, yep. uh, they may need to wait for the new exam uh, because they're just not in a position where they can really commit to preparation this fall. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. I know that for me, personally, football season will be a terrible time <laughs> to prepare for the MCAT. <laughs> Go Seahawks, by the way. <laughs> now, on the other side of that coin, we're looking at study time a bit. Uh, yeah. For students who are looking at the 2015 exam, when would they maybe be considering starting, starting those studies? Should they be getting ready this fall if they've got the prerequisites down? I think that that's not a bad idea. Um, most of the time, almost universally, I've found that students will come to a Kaplan MCAT class and they'll immediately realize the MCAT takes more than they thought it did. Mm -hmm. More time, more prep, there's more to do, mm -hmm. and that's, uh, that's just a reality. And so it's important to start early whenever possible. So a student who's starting in, who wants to take the test either in January or in, for the current administration or in 2015, should definitely be considering starting now, starting in the fall and working th for a couple of months. And that'll offer the opportunity to not only have a little more time, but if that student feels like, you know, I didn't need that extra three weeks, well, great, you have an extra three weeks. Right. It's better to have more time than less. Absolutely. Um, students, uh, what you mentioned is definitely true. Students do try to load themselves up with a lot of fall coursework and then say, well, I'm going to add the MCAT on top of that. Mm -hmm. um, I like to tell students the MCAT is sort of like having a part-time or full-time job. And you have to treat it that way. It really is. Yeah. I mean, Eric mentioned the 300 hours that most students in, mm -hmm. end up studying uh, to feel to feel comfortable and feel prepared for the test. And that's that's a lot of that's time. That's a lot of hours. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, I'll just follow up on Amit's comment, which is dead on, which is if you are planning to take the current version of the exam, October, November, or even January, now is the time to get started yeah. with your prep. We have yeah, courses absolutely. that are getting underway even as we speak for all of those test dates of the current test. Uh, our classes for MCAT 2015 actually began as early as mid-September and early October. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, again, to Amit's point of stretching out your preparation and really giving yourself enough time, especially for the new exam, for those of you right. who are looking mm -hmm. at April and May test dates, you can get started as early as this fall and really give yourself as much time as possible to be well prepared uh, by the time you face that exam in April or May. Absolutely.